but I'm gonna keep my fancy. Don't bother asking why. It's everything that I'm thinking. Hey guys, what's up? So, my name is Lee Bernard. Uh, welcome to another long, long, long awaited video. <laughs> so, in my last video about here on the drawing, I revealed this to you guys. I got this one recently. They are both from the same Inspiron here on. Um, one is just bigger than one. That's my own take on it. But I got this one because it's smaller and it's compact, unlike this one. This one is basically for my own studio. Let me show you the difference. Okay. So this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one I just got. Just This one has more functionality buttons, this one has less. But really there's no difference though. If you know how to set them the right way to what you need, you would get the work done. So let's get right into it without wasting time, I beg. Alright, so how to draw 2D characters using Photoshop and the Hue on tablets. Now I specifically said the Hue on tablets because I don't want to start saying just draw and you get to another tablet and it's not the same functionality as mine has. Sorry for the crappy scene right now, I'm just trying to rush this up. So first of all, you open your Photoshop like this. We are trying to get to this stage of what we have on the screen. This particular stage of what we have, as you can see. So obviously, if you want to start and you know how to draw, you can just create a new layer. This is how I use, I use the square. I don't like, you can use any one you want. You can go to new and try to pick um, how you like your whatever to be how large you need it to be, there are different uh, templates already that you can use so you don't have to use mine but that's what this is what I'm using right now so I'll select the pen tool right here and change the color to black and white so normally let's just let me just do, do something so you know so you see what it looks like now so you see this is why I use the hue one actually it flows really well like it's not something like it's, it's hanging it feels so natural like drawing on it. it just feels like you're drawing on paper and it's just smooth so it's not something you get unlike some other ones which i've used and they don't flow like this one flows that well all right so let me let me take this away first okay all right i'm trying to erase without gin on do i'm being lazy right now all right <laughs> all right so we're back so first of all when you're here you're trying to draw you already you already have the image in your head let's say i don't know a guy a girl you know maybe maybe the drawing of this you want let me get it out maybe the drawing of this they're trying to get this kind of thing and you know just follow the pattern that's what i'm saying once you connect your hue to it actually it should automatically sense what tab you're using and it should work with photoshop without any configurations it should give you the hue one app once you configure that it works seamlessly actually so as usual like i'm going to sketch something very bad though i'm not very good at free drawing anymore actually not today all right so all right all right all right, all right. i think i'm still on track <laughs> this is crappy man well you get the idea like this is it so let's let's just say let me, let's for example say you've closed this up right now and you've closed this up right now this is one way of drawing it's, it's a free pen tool you can either use this gimmick of drawing like this kind of thing uh and you can fill it up if you need to fill it up with any color this is just free drawing if you know how you are precise what you need to draw there are different techniques to this oh sorry about that i didn't create a layer all right so i'm going to have to delete all this okay now black to black to black and white uh pen so i'm going to draw on the layer why did, i made a mistake at first i was drawing on the background i forgot to add that quick one though you can create a layer by going down here as you can see create a new layer and join layer. What that does is when I have, let's say I have a circle on this layer right here. If I take away the layer, see what goes on. There's nothing on the background and I can easily put the layer back and take away the background. Why I do this for my 2D characters because if I'm using them for animations, it's easy to export as PNG or is it to export as a vector than using the background. It is like this way now, if I have, let's say this and I fill it up with, uh, let me pick a color real quick, hold on. I'm still on the layer I do as you can see and I pick it and I fill it up with let's say this I can easily remove the background and export this way as a PNG file do you understand like it's not something that has to be too complicated I can export this way mess up with it when I'm out there maybe in after effects um, cut chop it up and make some effects with it this way this is my own examples of what you can do a lot of things with it though you can create like I said this is free pen drawing all I'm doing here this is not like the other i'll show you another way of drawing something but this is just me freestyling if i'm good at drawing you can freestyle 
really well this way without any you see you can freestyle if you're good at it some people are not now i'm going to remove this layer and create a new layer you see what that did so i don't need to create a new old blah 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 just a new layer and continue so now there's another way most some other people love to use this is more precise than the free and drawing i just did now this is a different way if you want to use this one it's quite easy just go to the pen tool or you press p on your keyboard click on a spot you can either click click like that and feel and stroke rather and what that does is now delete this part see how straight that's it let me zoom in see how straight this line is and how precise it is so if you have something you wanted to draw and you didn't want to you know you don't want you need it to be very precise and you don't want to use those pen so you can either even click it click this and draw if you need a curve click this and draw if you need another curve click this and draw if you need another curve and click this and draw if you need another curve then all you need to do when you're done with that you stroke delete and you have something precise is it better than me let me try to draw this same image with a freehand tool and this i think this is what i have here there's there's definitely a very big difference between the lines see how crooked it looks here and see how smooth it looks over there so there's a difference in how you need to draw what what is suitable for you is what you should use so i can't tell you this is the perfect way to draw i prefer freehand tool so i use the freehand i don't know why i just prefer that than using but if i need to be precise with some drawing Alright, so for my people that are not really good at drawing like this freehand thing I just did, if you are not really that good at it but you want to draw a 2D character, let's say you have an image you like or you want to copy or something you need to animate like a picture of a person or something, let me go to a folder. Oh, sorry about this. Alright, so uh, let's say, let's say for example, um, I'm picking, hmm, let me see what can I, what can I really pick fast, fast. Let's show you guys, it doesn't feel like. Okay, let's let's use this drawing of Nini Niniola. I just dragged it onto my drawing board here. You can easily import it and put it here. But I prefer dragging because when I find the image, it's quite easy. Then I'm going to resize this. Alright, see me resizing this here. This is it right here, Abby. So the image is on my background. Let me clear all this off so you can understand. Clear all the layers off. So I just have the image and I have the background now. You understand? So what I'm going to do is create a new layer on top of that don't forget what i said the layer is something you can always remove like if i draw oh sorry about that if i draw on this let me go back if i draw on this layer now well, let me maybe i put it down here if i draw on this like this like this like this it won't affect the image which we have here i can always remove the image and I have the layer down there i can always remove the layer and i have they are separate entities but you can also merge them together so let me say i undo what i just drew here what I would normally do if I want to trace what she just did or what I just did all this, let me do it. Uh, okay. I want to get Niniola in a 2D character image. What I would do now is I'll go to our own image here, reduce the opacity. Why am I doing this? So I can see the image well enough. So I can trace my lines without it interfering with the main picture. If it's too clear, you might not see the details in it. Like this is the picture here. So imagine if it's this way and you're drawing with this same air color. You probably will even be able to notice the lines but if you reduce your opacity a bit once you draw on this thing let me show you see how clear your drawing is showing so it's like oh you're just following the lines so for example if i say let me just use our eyes as an example we just won't waste time okay reduce my pen and this is okay in your last eyes so free and drawing like i told you i'm going to do one with the free and i'm going to do one with the other one so this is very rough man I swear but you guys accept me the way you see me <laughs> All right, so this is it. Uh, okay. All right, so I'm just following the lines. I don't want to put all this there, but you know, you get what I mean. So if I remove this, I will have only Niniola's eyes. Now you can save everything as Niniola's eyes, one Niniola's eyes. So if you are doing some kind of animation, some very advanced, that's not my, that's not the lesson for today. If you are doing some advanced animations, you can do like literally two bits of it. So when you're animating, you can make an eye switch different from, that's a whole different thing. But if you're drawing the whole thing, this is how you go. Like I just drew the eye now. I'll probably go on, draw a body, draw, a, you know, you zoom in for better, you know, accuracy. You can always do that. Then you fill in. I think that should be quite explanatory. If you need more, let me know. Then the second eye, let's use the other technique I talked about. If you don't want to use the free pen tool I just said, I just use, that's my favorite. That's what I use because I feel like I can express myself better. This one kind of restricts me. I'm sure you'll be better with anyone. Just find out what you're good at. So I'm going to pick this spot first for the layer. And I do this. 
see i'm going to drag it down to the fitter eye now this is the way i draw see i will stroke this part now and i will delete it all right hold on see aha uh -huh. do you see how how straight you see the difference between both of them but if i was obviously i was messing up with this if i was more precise with my drawing it would be way smoother than this but definitely not as smooth as this but this one gives you that natural flavor of oh i'm drawing this is more of a digital oh i'm using something you know quite balanced it's not everybody's hand is not this straight i even doubt if anybody's hand is that straight so that is it so if i'm to go and oh sugar sorry about that i'm finishing the old drawing i'll go this way here also this point and move back till i get what i'm looking for and i think this should be fine and then i would stroke the part also and i would delete it and i would come in here all right let me see if this will work for the eyes all right okay i would stroke this one also when you're doing yours actually be more precise with your drawing like i'm just showing you what it is but be more precise with it don't just do what i'm doing like oh just be precise and follow mess around with like i always tell people mess around with the photoshop there's no limit to what you can achieve like it's you you will discover new things and discover new ways and discover better ways of drawing and it should just be your own thing you become an expert at doing it so from here if i and use the pencil you know complete if you need to if there are any places that seems like they're open then you can do sure, with your hand you can do that also with the thing like this so let's go back and see the difference between both of them so obviously you can see one looks a little bit more defined lines than the other one so if i was doing my goal let's paint the eyes that will I would, that would be here this one is not complete so okay okay but i see you get but you get the old gist at the end of the day when you're done you have a 2d image of niniola looking exactly like her what did you do all you did was put that image at the background and follow the guidelines then you can remove it you can redefine the way she looks you don't have to do it exactly you can get oh this is what i want i want her eyes to have the same defined look and her mouth then you can do a caricature of different way she looks you get just be free and express yourself so that's basically to be my lesson for today because i don't want to make this too long that's how to draw in photoshop 2d characters with the hue on tablet you can do and mess around with different ways and different things you can paint you can, you know, cut different images, different things you can do with the app. But today is not that lesson. Today is just how to draw 2D characters in Photoshop using Hue on Tablet. And that is it right there. Thank you for watching. Watch out for the next one. Peace.